I'm going to fish, and I, this is all about pop water for me. Okay, so it's I'm not fishing in water that is not conducive for top water to happen. Sure. This is what's hard for people to get. So if that water depth's too too uh, too much water overhead, they're not going to come up unless they're just really chewing for some reason. Okay. So the way I approach this fishery is. I'm looking for topwater habitat, and that's what I'm going to focus on. Now, outside here, do I believe there's fish out there? Sure. But we're talking, at least on this bank, we're talking 12 feet deep. Okay, so um, I'm looking for fish that are ready to eat in the environment that I'm throwing to. Okay, and that's what you'd consider the backbone that you're hitting right now. That, that area up to that up to that weed line. Okay. And a lot of it has to do with understanding those habitats, certain tides. I mean it's it's all about the tides. So you have to <coughs> have the right water elevation in the areas you're throwing to, otherwise you're just, you know, wasting your time. Either the fish have moved out, okay, they're transitioned out to the outside weeds, or buried deep in the deeper weeds, or we're not going to get them top water, or it's too shallow back there. I mean, they had to pull out. So what I do is I go around the delta looking for water where those fish don't have to move. Okay. If that makes sense, they don't have to come out of there either on a high tide or a low tide. Those are real stable environments and those fish should be happy. The other thing is... Um, Katie, is there something that you're, that you're able to see without, without knowing uh, high tide height level that you're able to see in the backbone right now? Or just time on the water, you know, at this height, we yeah. should have three foot of water sitting in that backbone. Yeah, a lot of it's just you know, fishing like a madman, but what I tell people to do is get in there and find out what you're throwing. Because some of the stuff you think is shallow, you get in there, I'll tell you right now, you probably got six, seven feet of water right there. And how you determine that is you look at the rocks. You can see it, it tells you a whole story. See how steep those rocks are? Yeah. Okay, so I know that I'm going to have good depth back there, okay? Now when I see the rocks are a little more slanted, that means that it's going to be shallower. And what I'm looking at, I'm like, here's the rocks, okay? Here's your weeds. Where most of these fish are right here. This is a fish, my thumb. That's where those fish are. Here's the weeds, here's the rocks. So what we're doing is we're presenting to the rocks on the fish, coming across their little window, and they tend to be aggressive once that starts going into that, because they're looking at just a big wall of weeds, even though they can get in around it. If you think about a big wall there, so you're presenting to be behind where the fish may be cruising up and down in here, and before that hits that weeds, and when they want to hit it, or they'll come out of some of that. That's what you want to know. It's not what you see on top. 